Section 6.5. This is the uh, voiceover to the solutions. One difference from Section 6.3. This Section 6.5 is referred to as the central limit theorem. We're not only not we're now not working with one individual or one item. We're working with the mean of multiple items. And what that all translates to is the difference between 6.3 and 6.5 is how, even 6.2, is how we calculate the standard deviation. Because we're working with multiple items, standard deviation decreases. The standard deviation now becomes the original standard deviation divided by how many items we're talking about. We refer to that as the end value. Uh, number one, the amount of snowfall, certain mountain range normally distributed, mean of 94, okay, standard deviation of 14, what's the probability that the mean annual snowfall during 49 randomly picked years will exceed? All right, so your low bound exceed means you're getting bigger than 96.8, so your, my low bound is 96.8, I'm going getting bigger all the way to E99, positive infinity. He tells me the mean is 94 right here. And now the standard deviation becomes the original standard deviation, which is given to us as 14, divided by my end value. How many years are we talking about? In this case, 49. Here's a case where you could have calculated the mean in your head. If 14 divided by square root of 49, which is 7. 14 divided by 7 is the whole number 2. So you could have calculated that and just put a 2 here, but I let the calculator do it all. And the answer in this particular case, 0 0.0808, is spot on to letter D. Number two, weights of fish in a certain lake, mean of 19, standard deviation of 6. What's the probability that the mean weight of these four fish falls between 16.6 and 22.6? So 16.6 my lower, 22.6 my upper, mean given to me is 19. Standard deviation is the original standard deviation, which is given to me as 6, divided by how many, in this case, fish, 4. And once again, I could have calculated this out to be the whole number 3, since the square root of 4 is 2. Didn't do that, but either way, 0 0.6731, 0 0.6730 is the, 0 is the correct answer. You're 1 ten-thousandth out of the way. Number 3, bank loan officer rates applicants for credit find a probability that the mean of these 40 different applicants is above 215. Above means you're getting larger. Your lower limit, 215. Your upper is E99. Mean is given to us to, as 200. The standard deviation is the original standard deviation for one applicant divided by N. How many applicants we're talking about? 40 in this case. And hitting paste. Um, and your answer comes out to be 0 0.0289. And the correct answer is 0 0.0287. There will be some discrepancy if you didn't. If you wanted to avoid getting discrepancy, you'd have to do things pencil and paper, find Z scores and the like, and do your subtraction. But B2 ten-thousandth isn't the end of the world here. Notice nothing even close to that. So won't be an issue on the exam. Number four, we're talking about women's heights, 90 women in particular. Uh, find a probability that their mean height, the mean height of these 90 women falls between 62.9 and 64 inches. There's your low, there's your, your lower and upper limit. Your mean is given to you as 63.6. Standard deviation now becomes the original, excuse me, the original standard deviation of 2.5 divided by N. N in this case is 90. And it's actually bolded out for you, so it's easy to recognize. Your answer, and once again, to, is off by three ten thousand, but nothing close, so that would be an issue. I can live with that because there's nothing, nothing close, closer to 0.9315 than 0.9318 out of the four possible answers. Number five, human body temperatures. We're interested in the probability that the mean of these 19 people's, their body temperature is less than 98.50. You're going to your left. Which means your lower limit is negative E99, your upper limit 98.550. There's your mean given to us as 98.2. And standard deviation is the original standard deviation, 0 0.62. 6200 is divided by the square root of N. N meaning these 19 people. And you're off by one ten thousandth. The calculator is off by one. No big deal. The remaining ones all deal with the Chevrolet Cavalier. Here we're asked to find a probability that the, re, the mean rebuild time 
for these 40 mechanics exceeds 8.7. Well, 8.6 exceeds means you're getting larger. Your low is 8.7. Large, larger means all the way to positive infinity, E99. The mean was given to us as 8.4. Standard deviation is the original standard deviation for one mechanic divided by the square root of how many mechanics we're speaking about here, 40. Here the answer is off by 10 thousandths. No big deal. 0 0.1459, 0 0.1469. Same Chevy Cavalier, same 40 mechanics. We're asked to find a probability that the rebuild time for these 40, the mean average rebuild time for this uh, 40 mechanics exceeds 7.7 7, 7 hours. Low 7.7 7 exceeds me. We're getting larger, larger all the way to E99. There is the mean given to us is 8.4. For one mechanic, but we're talking about 40, so a standard deviation decreases. It's the original standard deviation of 1.8 divided by n, and in this case is 40. 0 0.9930, correct answer 0 0.9931. Number eight, same cavalier. We're looking for a rebuild time being less than 7.6 hours. So my low limit is lower limit is negative 99. My upper is 7.6. My mean is given to me is 8.4. Once again. Standard deviation is the original standard deviation of 1.8 divided by um, the square root of 40, the end value. 0 0.0025, right on. 9, we're looking for the probability that the mean, uh, mean test score of these 24 students is greater than 78. Greater means you're getting larger. So my lower limit is 78. My upper is E99. Mean given to me is 73. Standard deviation is the original standard deviation divided by n, and this case is 24. Now, this is something different. This 8.4374e negative 4. E negative. Negative means you got to move the decimal point four places to the left. So the first place puts the point in front of the 8, and then you would add three zeros, giving you 0 0.0008. And number 10, pretty much the same thing. Find the probability that the mean of these 24 students, the mean of their test scores was less than 76. Lower limit, negative E99, upper 76. Mean given to me as 73. There it is right there. Standard deviation now decreases because it's 24 students. It's the original standard deviation of 7.8 divided by how many students I'm talking about, my end value. 0.9702. Looks like it's off by a lot, but actually, in actuality, the difference between this and the correct answer and your calculator's answer is only three ten thousandths. That's how close it is. All right. Hope this helps.